Hey everybody, it's Sid here. Welcome back to another Animal Jam video. We're here for the April update for Play Wild. I'm recording this like the night of March 31st, so I'll even get to get the first look at the April prizes too. So here we go. Anteaters are here. Anteaters have arrived in Jamal. These South American omnivores who love to eat ants and termites with their long snoots and tongues. With the inquiring anteater bundle, you'll get the new animal, the librarian outfit, and the cavalier outfit that won't be found anywhere else. Then we have um, new mission. Learn how to avoid getting scammed with a safe and secure mission. Tap on the mission icon on the left side of the screen. That of a shifty looking sheep in the Lost Temple Zios. Oh, I hope he's not that mean. Spring Cottage is here. Spring Cottage has returned just in time for the season. This seasonal den is a perfect nook for rustic jammers who love the spring. It's got all the room you need to create a garden that will be the envy of Jamal. To April Fool's Party. Turn your world upside down of April. Fool's party and swap stories of your most legendary pranks. Yeah. Spring into spring. Spring has come to Jamal. Celebrate by doing some spring cleaning. And remember, you can recycle your items for gems. I did a hefty spring cleaning on Classic, and now I actually have a room on my account. That's wonderful. Pack run beetle bullets. We should have called it Beetle Mania. That's all I'm saying. This month's pack run has arrived. Grab your pack mates and tap the button in your pack hideout to get started and then get going. Collect as many beetles as you can and see how high you and your pack can rise in the pack leaderboard. Plus, the more beetles you gather, the more rewards you can pack on. Someone has an art. I thought they said art show. I was like, interesting. And eaters. Anteater snoots have evolved to be perfect for nosing into ant and termite mounds, but they've got another helpful feature, their claws. Those long claws help them dig into mounds and pull plants of each if they want to add some grease for that. I did not know anteaters also ate plants. I thought they just ate ants. I thought they were exclusively insectivores. I learned something today. Parasaurolophuses. Parasaurolophus eggs have arrived in the latest super box. Head through the okay animal gem wants your money. Becoming an archosaur. Archosaurs are different from any other animals in Jamal. They hatch from prehistoric eggs found by the excavator in Oplondale or inside sewer boxes. Animal gem, you literally have archosaurs in your game that don't come from that. Crocodiles, all of the birds in the game, they're archosaurs. You're completely forgetting about them, and I find it hilarious. To grow into a playable archosaur, a pet archosaur has to be nurtured using a pet station in your den or another player's den. AJ members can also use a pet sort of pro. Once an archosaur has reached level 5, go to the machine on top of therapy and force it to grow it up. Just a reminder for when you get your parasaur Oh, there's so much jeebus. Warning signals! The structure on a parasaur lophus's head is a hollow nasal cavity that makes a low humming sound like a foghorn. And now I want somebody to make like a foghorn leghorn parasaur lophus, please. Because the low frequency sounds travel farther and each parasaur lophus nose was shaped slightly differently, it meant that all the members of her herd couldn't hear the warning and know who had sent it. Please, that reminds me of a go horns and Animal Jam. Oh my, I mean, not Animal Jam, Minecraft. I'm playing Animal Jam. Uh, pet poodle puppies. Woof, arf, bow, wow. What's that perky, playful pet? Oh, why is a new pet poodle puppies that are pouncing and prancing all over the place? Head to Quasim Plaza to pick up your own peppy put post taste. Bleh. Then we have a Jamagram winners. Okay. So we got all oh, kitty i i think the sci is that one of the siamese cats i think it is the siamese cats are really popular the dinosaurs i forgot to enter mine oh my gosh that one's my favorite that's gonna be the sid 54321 okay i know i didn't make it but if i send a jamagram to you that's what it's gonna look like new mission and you have an art mission cool i'm gonna stop my mission right now thank you for being a member okay what's the april prizes for so much to do i'm getting sidetracked and i'm tired 
um, you locked in Uno times is my well, one hundred gems. I got three hundred gems. Okay, Let's get spring lavender. Oh my gosh, it's so funny when I actually get those because. Oh boy, um, ten sapphires, grilled cheese sandwich sofa. It is April Fool's. Grilled cheese. I do like grilled cheese. That's pretty cool. Blueprint to make a spinning flower span and <gasps> floating times. That is so cool. Is that a clothing item or a den item? I'm not sure. Hmm. Cause that'd be cool for them. I think they're clothing items. I I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. They, you already have it. I just learned if you stop the mission, it will. If I stop this mission, it won't lose my progress. I thought it would. That's why I didn't do a lot of the newer missions because I was trying to do Rainbow Glory, but I can't. I don't have a rainbow to your pet, and. I was trying to do it, but I didn't want to stop it to do other ones. So, safe and secure. View prize. Okay, we're going to do that probably separately. Oh, I'll check it out. That's all. It says two-step verification. I don't know if I want to do that. I mean, I, yeah, it's very, very good for my account. But I did... We'll have to see because... Um, the way it's been presented in the situation that I have of my account makes it very, um, more so inconvenient than it should be. You know, that's not a And, uh, it's just easier if I don't have it on, but I'm not sure how it would, how it actually works. And I've also heard of horror stories of people, uh okay of people just getting permanently locked out because they forgot the two-step info security station ready to learn how to keep your account safe from scammers welcome to the security station okay how to report something look for the badge anytime you see this badge you can tap on it to start a report reports are reviewed by an aj moderator who will take a look at the problem and decide help oh thanks cosmo if you have a question or you need to contact customer support go to help.animalgem.com personal Okay, so there's like sub dots in this. Wonderful. Everything you share about yourself in Amgem is a puzzle piece that can be put together. It's Cosmo again. <laughs> to reveal your identity. And that information can be used to scare or hurt you. Be cautious about what pieces of that's right. Um, Before you share anything, use any part of your own. Uh, talk about where you live. Stop and think about what a boy can do with this information. And keep those puzzle pieces to yourself. Yes. Be careful with the information you put into your username. Uh, that's awkward, because, um... Okay, Sid is not my real name. It's a name people call me, but it's not my real name. And, yeah. So, I think that's fine. And my real name... You won't be able to guess it. <laughs> you won't be able to guess it, um, based on what information you have so there we go personal information never share any information that relates to your password like if you have a cat named sprinkles and your password is kitty sprinkles if someone knows your cat name they can use your information to help them guess your password yeah it's important account security account security shows up a secure password not even a friend should be able to guess yours use a phrase or combination of words to make a password easy for you to remember but harder for other people and computers to guess we'll have to put computers because of the data breach uh, best security is two-step. Any code will be sent to your parent email, and you enter that code along with your password. See, that's the thing, okay? Because my parent email is with my dad, right? And there are it, it, it's just very inconvenient for me to have to call my dad every single time uh, to be like hey what's the two-step code unless it's the same every time i'm not sure but it's just it's awkward you know 
I'd be, my dad might be at like his art class or something and he gets a call from me being like what's the two-step code I don't want to do animal jam so yeah not that convenient make sure you never share the code of email from anyone animal jam will never ask for his code so don't ever send it to someone else even if they say they're from animal jam they'll also never ask you to turn it off oh you can turn it off that's interesting scams and trading always be cautious when using the trading system your items are your responsibility, and once you trade to another player, you become that player's responsibility. Don't trade away an item unless you're okay with never getting it back. That is important. That is important. Because I know there's a lot of... I've heard horror stories of a lot of scams of people big. Like, oh, I'm going to borrow your rainbow to your pet for the expedition. Is that not happening? And I don't know anyone personally who has a one. And I say no personally because most people, I won't blame anyone for not trusting me to borrow a rainbow pet because they don't, they don't really know me that well. But if it was like a close friend IRL that I borrowed to, they would know I'd give it back. But, and they'd not actually be able to nag me to IRL if I forget. So yeah, um, that's why I stopped the rainbow pet expedition. Uh, most scams at Animal Jam have to do with trade shops or giveaway. Oh my, yeah, I've been scammed twice in my Animal Jam career, and both times have been giveaways. They're very bad. Even if a player promises to trade an item back to you, or promise to send you better, no if it could be scamming you. That's important. That's why I never, I contemplated borrowing someone's set, but I never did, because that is suspicious and of no one would trust that so yeah it's better to not have the rainbow name tag than for people to think you're suspicious so there we go always look carefully at the item you're going to buy from some of my shop to make sure the item and price yes if your account's disappointed it's always for a reason and also doesn't Unless it's member reaction taken different accounts can have consequences. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes. Um, I think that's a response to all these people doing stuff in their spare accounts. If I don't get caught, like, mm -hmm, don't do that. That is, that's yucky. I always, I'm always on my best behavior on all my accounts, no matter what they are. Um, yeah. Buddies and bullies. So it's like in the real world, Animal Jam will have some people you won't like being around. Stick players you like, hang out with. Another block report players are bothering you, doing things that make you uncomfortable. Sometimes when you hang out with friends or other people online, you'll run to a red flag. Red flags are things that make you feel suspicious, uncomfortable, or unsafe. Anyone can do something against a red flag, even a friend. And that's why I, yeah, I, I try not to do red flags at all. And if I do, I apologize so much. Because if I do a red flag, I don't mean to do a red flag. I just want to have fun, you know. But it's always when a player is being mean to you or someone else, the best thing you do is block and report. Yes, yes. It's okay to block somebody who's being mean to another person. Don't feel guilty for that. You're protecting yourself. Being mean to another player could really hurt. Yes, yes. Cyberbullying is an issue. If you know someone's in trouble, let an adult know. Contact AJ moderator. If someone's hurting you, you think someone be in danger. Yes, that's a, that's the case for everything. And Animal Jam can pick a safe place with the emotions to talk about troubling things. Remember, your AJ friends may not be ready or able to give you the help you need. You can talk to them about it, but don't treat them like a professional. That's basically what they're saying. Outside Animal Jam, be careful in the honor world. Outside Animal Jam, it's, it's pretty much the same thing. Some can get your account by sending a strange link. Do not do phishing. My, oh my gosh. I remember one time in high school, they gave us a how to avoid phishing thing because that was when COVID first started and uh, everyone was using emails as their primary, primary mode of communication. So phishing was rampant. It was yucky. But then I was scared to open any email, even if it was from my Google Classroom. Never enter your account information anywhere but inside. Thanks, Leopard, for 27. I, yeah. Aim from for Landers at e. Say, I'm going to comment the URL. So, yep. And there's a miscellaneous Amazon content on the internet. Exactly. Do not 
believe everything, okay? Um, only, uh, I have an extra tip with that. If a YouTuber is saying they're going to do a giveaway, and only give the name of your account. Don't give a name or the password. Some people might be like, oh, I need your password so I can give it to you. No. 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 If an Animal Jam YouTuber is, or, or influencer or anyone is doing a giveaway, then they'll actually, worst case, you just get the item and you'd be lied to, which is kind of sucky, but you don't get anything taken from you. But, but, if, the, uh, if they actually do give you, I mean, they will make sure you get it. They'll ever try trading with you or gifting it to you or anything anything outside animal jam uh yeah you got the test and it has a lot of great stuff but also has a lot of stuff that isn't right for you don't go looking for stuff that makes you feel bad or upset thing is it yeah you can find yourself doing an accident okay take the quiz suspicious or not you want a very rare item from never play if they ask you to buy other items or shop to help pay for it stop and think um yeah, it's okay if, like, someone gives you a gift for doing it, but, uh, like, if I buy one, get one free. Like, I know a lot of people who do shops, and they're like, oh, if you buy this really cheap item, I'll gift you a random thing. And usually, you know what, it's not something too rare. And it's only one item, and if you don't get it, you don't get it. But if they're making you buy something, if they're making you, like, buy something to leverage as, like, a trade, that's not good. Once it never plays our personal agent, how can you get it back uh you can't get it back so sus or not a player starts to trade view and ask if you put the item on your shop stop it okay which means okay to put into a password a silly word like flabbergasted that's not my password don't even try it what happens if you break the animal jam rule uh ban spend it privileges any of those Red flag or not, you spend to have you, and once you spend all your time with them, that's kind of a red flag. It's okay if you want to spend, like, quite a bit of time with you, but not all the time. I had a friend who was like that, and it was not fun. We open a link, but you to make sure it's not a fish. We don't care if we only open links to size and recognize have an adult look, all of these. I am an adult, and I still get adults to look at links, because, yeah. Why is two-step verification secure? Scammer will need to know my email to get my code. A scammer can't know my password and the code both my company say scammers and a hacker happens to belong to other players animal gym accounts you can't you can be spent a ban with privileges all of those all of those all of those what's not a consequence of sharing a social media or phone number getting aj suspended these are all consequences of bully finding with all of them and scammer learning about the password press over i'm gonna keep on trying it okay uh 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 that Oh, that was the other thing. Oops. <laughs> I got you with it mixed up. Okay, uh. You think it's angry and hang out? Oh, that's a red flag, definitely. Oh, those people are annoying. Well, I was. Let's talk about Animal Jam. Uh. Where are you going after school? What makes the best, most secure password? Uh, the second one, it's a mouthful, I'm not saying it. This video's already, like, 20 minutes long, and I haven't even done, like, everything in the update. Yes. What should you do if you think you've opened a phishing link? All of these. So this person, you want to buy a rare if never play, but ask you to buy it. That is sus. What is okay to turn to a password silly word? So I can put in, and they don't ask you to give or send them anything that sounds fine yeah what can happen if you walk to other player okay all of those we already did that uh which is not a consequence uh, these are all consequences and finally uh report there we go got a hundred woo okay Was finished. Yes. Okay, and what's next? 
Go on your side. Change your trade request preference in the settings. Yeah, I have buddies only as trade because people are just... And then you have two-step, which I might do off-screen because... Yeah, okay. You can do it from your settings, so that's interesting. Oh, there we go. Um, interesting. Okay, just making sure we don't say anything bad. Uh, that is it for that. I'm going to get the anteater. And then I'm going to end. Oh, Tito. Librarian Book 2. I can't press the space bar. Okay. Oh, I can press Ender. I did not know that. Okay. And either ooh, and either in fact, they have facts for all the animals now. That's cool. And either snaps have evolved to be perfect for nosing and claws. Okay, yeah, we already learned that. Oh my god, it's so cute. I actually like the colors of this. Inquiring anteater. Let's see what it's dance is. Okay, so its action is rootin' and tootin'. It jumps, it sits, it zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz